Hey, are you extremely lonely? Of course you are. You're watching videos about ancient mythology. But don't worry, this story is a great guide on how to find a fulfilling relationship with minimal kidnapping involved. That's right, Jake's back at it again with more Greek mythology. So after helping his brothers overthrow the Titans, Hades was rewarded with the honor of ruling the land of the dead. It was a pretty simple job since 99% of people were sent to the fields of Asphodel where they just kind of vibed forever. Or if they were a king and or did some sick heroic stuff, they got to party in Elysium. But every once in a while, someone would royally piss off the gods and Hades got to come up with a suitably ironic punishment for their sins. But it was a lonely job and his OK Eros profile wasn't getting much attention. Then one day he found Demeter's daughter Persephone on Instagram and started simping real hard. So he went to her father, Zeus. Hey bro, I was just wondering if maybe I could get permission to, uh, marry Persephone? You mean your biological niece? Who's like, centuries younger than you? Haha, <laughs> hell yeah, you can marry her, bro. Tight, thanks, bro. So when Persephone was out picking flowers with her friends, he waited for her to wander off alone and scooped her up. Ah! And Demeter heard her scream and started wondering where she went, so she asked the sun god Helios if he saw anything. Okay, so don't freak out or anything, but Persephone got- What happened to her? Okay, so you're freaking out, and that's what I said not to do. Just chill out, it's really not a big deal. She just got kidnapped by a horny death god. Okay, now that I say it out loud- I'll fucking kill him! Hey, 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 you know Hades isn't so bad. And she'll be married to one of the most powerful gods there is. What more could a young woman want to achieve in life? Am I right, fellas? Hey, That's right. yeah, yeah. yeah. Patriarchy. And Demeter was super bummed, so to fill the maternal void in her life, she disguised herself as an old lady and got a job as a nanny for some rich kid. But unfortunately, things didn't work out because his mom wasn't a fan of her parenting methods. So Demeter revealed herself and told the kid's parents to build a big temple for her to hang out in so she wouldn't have to go back up to Olympus. But she spent so much of her time there crying and binging the office that she forgot to make plants grow, which caused a bit of a problem for the mortals. And after a while, the gods started to notice that they weren't getting their usual servings of animal sacrifices. So Zeus sent them one by one to try and coax Demeter out of her depression nest, but nothing seemed to work. So finally, Hermes headed over to Hades to see if he could work out a solution. Okay, so this guy Tantalus, total douchebag. He tried to trick the gods into eating his son, and I was thinking, all right, clearly food is the theme we're working with here, so I've come up with three pretty solid options for his eternal punishment. A, we have hellhounds constantly eating him alive, but his flesh grows back instantly so it never ends. B, put him in a pool up to his neck and have a fruit tree above him, but when he tries to drink, the water recedes, and when he reaches for the fruit, the branches raise out of his grass. Or C, we do the reverse of that where he's constantly being force-fed, so he's just getting more and more stuffed and never gets to come up for air. I call that one the foie gras. So which one do you think sounds the most fittingly ironic? Uh. Uh, I don't know, I guess any of them would be fine. <sighs> I feel like you don't appreciate the art of this. Hey, sorry to interrupt this, but I was wondering if I could borrow Persephone for a minute? Demeter is kinda causing a global famine. Huh, that sounds like a real pickle. That could cause me a real headache since we're already near capacity here and the expansion renovation just got delayed. So I guess I better let you go back up to visit your mom and work things out. Wow, thanks, I'd really appreciate that. I guess you're not a completely insufferable incel after all. <laughs> That's the most romantic thing you've ever said to me. But before Persephone left, Hades stealthily snuck some pomegranate seeds into her mouth. Yay, my daughter's back. Now I guess I won't starve humanity. Also, what are you wearing, young lady? Mom. Well, I guess we'll just have to keep Persephone up here forever so Demeter doesn't forget to make plants grow again. Sounds good to me. Yeah, Hades is kind of creepy, though I do like his aesthetic. <coughs> Aha, not so fast. Hate to ruin your reunion, but Persephone ate pomegranate seeds. Okay. Which means that she has to stay in the underworld with me. That's a rule? Yes, it is! So then they took the matter to Zeus, and after a lengthy overview of the official Hades terms and conditions, he decided that Persephone was required to spend a third of every year in the underworld with her husband. So now whenever her daughter leaves, Demeter retreats back into her pillow fort and doesn't let any plants grow for several months. But at least Persephone's Instagram following is through the roof. Hey, thanks for watching my video! If you want to actually learn about Greek mythology, then you should check out Theory.com, where you can learn about the Homeric Hymn to Demeter, which this video was based on. Uh, hashtag not an ad. Or you can just keep watching my videos, which is sort of like doing proper historical research. Anyway, you know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, don't kill puppies, bye!